Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my craft room. My name is Susan Campfield, and I'm so glad that you're here with me tonight. Tonight, we're going to make a beautiful fun fold card. It's been a busy, busy day, friends. We had crafter noon this afternoon. Craft that rhymes. <laughs> Crafternoon is my monthly uh, class. People who place a qualified order with me get a packet in the mail to make uh, the project with me along uh, during the video. The video is a public video and so you can find that on my channel, but I'm going to show you the cards that um, I shared in uh, the Crafternoon today. So uh, it's all based around a single fun fold. Um, I try to make it a unique fun fold and um, this month's is really fun. So uh, the people who placed a qualifying order last month. In fact, if you place a $50 order in August, you'll get a Craft Noon packet in September for our next fun fold adventure. So I hope you join along with me next time. Um, the uh, packet is to make one card and then I show four more alternate cards. So um, it's a lot of fun and uh, I hope you tune in. So let's go ahead and get this party started. I'm gonna flip to the desktop here and oh, <laughs> but those hologram things really look different on the camera. Like in person, it doesn't look that rainbowy, but it sure does on camera. This is a magnetic dish. Um, I uh, am giving this um, to people who place a $75 order this month, get one of these uh, for free. It's a great place to store your little dies so they don't go missing. And uh, because it's my 26th anniversary this month, with the Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, I'm sending out something a little extra. So I wanted to share the Crafternoon Fun Fold this month with you before we um, tear into our Fun Fold that we're making tonight, which is with the Textured Floral. By the way, I frequently uh, lose things <clears throat> in my stamp room. So uh, when, we, when, when I lose something and then I find it again, we play the Found It game. So let me know what is in your cup tonight. And when I find the thing, well, I'll take a sip of our beverage. I have my favorite go-to, which is ice water. So this is the was the make and take for this month's um, Crafternoon. I don't know if you can see the gems on there. Um, and this is called the Squeeze Box Fun Fold Card. Um, I call it Squeeze Box because when you open it up, it has an accordion inside. So a squeeze box, meaning the musical instrument, like a uh, concertina or an accordion. Do you see how it looks just like you're playing? You can play your card um, just like a squeeze box. So it's not a box. I hope that name isn't um, misleading at all. It is a, uh, a fun fold card. So this one of strawberry lemonade and we've got iced tea, all the good beverages here. So the card opens up and expands out and you've got four fun panels inside to decorate and it stands for display. I designed this card specifically um, to use uh, six, uh, excuse me, designer series papers so that you could see both sides. Now the one we used on this is the Hello Irresistible designer series paper. That's part of the Stampin' Up! online exclusives. Earlier this week, that paper was on low inventory, and I am honestly not sure if it is um, sold out yet or not. Uh, with online exclusives, we don't always know if they're going to be bringing more back in stock, so what we have might be it. I'm not really sure. So uh, if this is on your wish list, you might want to uh, grab that. Uh, green teal. Oh, green tea? You're doing... I thought... <laughs> I thought your comment, Susan, said teal, and it's tea. You're drinking green tea. Oh, very good. I'm going to say, this is actually pretty peacock, but you're right. It is kind of a teal. So <laughs> anyway, so that was the one that um, uh, people made. Now, because it's my 26th anniversary, I included in their pack an, another piece of designer series paper. So they could actually choose um, to do the card with this paper. This is a new paper called... Um, card um, garden walk paper and it's going to be in the new mini it's a six by six paper and again has the back side is really pretty so i designed this card so that back side could show off oh and somebody asked in the earlier video where this bow comes from so the bow the present and i don't in my light i don't think you can see the embossing on the present but it's got like an embossed ribbon on it um the flower, the stem, and the word, and the layer for the word, they all come in the wanted to say dies. So the wanted to say dies have a number of sentiments that can be die cut and then layered on a matching layer. But they also have some standalone dies, like the stem, the flower, the presents, the bow. They also have hearts and stars, 
not sure what else is in there, but it's a really cool die set. Um, so that was another version. And then some people, instead of getting that floral paper, they got this floral paper from Garden Walk and they could have made their card this way. So again, you can see that backside of the paper. And then I shared the alternate cards. Um, so I'll whip through those really quick, but then we gotta get cracking because we got a card to make. <laughs> so this is made with the new Berry Christmas Suite that will be in the upcoming mini catalog that starts on September 6th. Or if you decide to purchase the demonstrator starter kit right now, you can put any of the new products in your starter kit, which is a good way to get them fast. Um, so we've got it on the inside. And then when you open it up, super cute on the um, inside part. We've got some polar bears and I had so much fun with this set. It's just really cleverly designed. This is actually a punch. If you're not into dyes, um, it's a punch, so it's really easy to use. And they designed the scarf so that you could punch the bear and still put the scarf on him, which is super cute. So um, yeah, super fun set. And then got a little Halloween action here. So one of the other Crafternoon uh, alternate fun folds, again, the squeeze box card was this cute little um, Halloween card. You can see his sparkly eyes there with the, the gems I put on his eyes. And then on the inside, We've got uh, the glow in the dark paper, glow in the dark gem, and um, some fun candy corn. This is all from the Tricks and Treats bundle. Now, all of the directions for every single one of the alternates that I'm showing are going to be part of the written tutorial. You can purchase that PDF tutorial. It's just $15. It is usually a 20 plus downloadable item. You can print it all out or just save it on your computer and print the parts that you want. It is very, very detailed, step by step photos on how to make all the cards. Um, so this is another alternate. This one is with the gorgeous All About Autumn um, stamp uh, uh, suite, sorry. Um, and this paper is a photo paper that's part of that suite, again, coming out soon in the uh, September through December mini. And so can you see how I cut this six by six paper in half and was able to make two cards? This is the same pattern um, from the, the paper. And then I took our fun fold, our, um, our squeeze box card a step further on this one. And I actually made a pocket inside for a gift card. And then I've got just decorated with the, the different dies and designer series papers and so forth. And then the last fun fold is with the products that we're actually going to be using uh, tonight in our um, in our for a different card. But this is the beautiful textured floral uh, bundle. These fun dies and uh, the ribbon is actually from the upcoming mini. It's an iridescent ribbon, and then the masterfully made paper. Now this paper, the back side of this paper is right here. Um, it was a little busier than I wanted for this kind of, I was going for an elegant look. So I changed the fold on this one. You'll see it in the written tutorial. If you're a team member, you get that tutorial for free. If you placed a qualifying order last month and got the packet, you'll get that tutorial for free. Um, but the tutorial and the, um, and the, uh, da, 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 da. the tutorial will be, um, let's see here. Let me go find this. And hold on one second. I am looking for, um, oh yes, here it is, the banner. So if you would like to receive this, <laughs> um, if you want notification when that blog post goes up with the pictures of all of these cards, this is what this one looks on the, like on the inside. So I've got a pocket here and you can either put a tag in the pocket or you can make it a wedding card and you could put cash in the pocket, whatever you want. And so super cute and it stands up like this. There we go. And so um, that uh, blog post will be up by the end of the day tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Now tonight we're gonna use this beautiful textured floral. I'm live again, Virginia, I'm back. <laughs> so, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and um, yeah, let's get started stamping friends. All right. So where, where is my stuff? Oh yes. Yeah, so I'm going to show you our inspiration card here. Now we're using again, like I mentioned, the textured floral. Um, this is a card that we made in a past video. Um, if you sign up for my free project sheets, which are at the same address, go to suestampfield.com, click on subscribe and select project sheets. 
every oh, maybe a couple times a, a month, I send out some free project sheets. This was in the last one. When you sign up for the uh, project sheet emails, you're going to um, get a welcome letter from me, and it's going to have two project sheets in it. And this is the one I just updated it. So this one is also in there. Just such a pretty soft floral look. So lovely. All right, so we're going to look at this. And this is a, a card that I received from Linda Olson, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Uh, Linda gave me this card at the Creative Connections event that we did. Oh, you know what? Let me take that banner down. I am so sorry, friends. There we go. All right, so this one opens up like this. And just a, a cute fun fold. And she used the um, inked and tiled, I'm going to say. Um, um, I'm, I'm tired. I've been working hard with Crafty Noon, and I'm a little out of it, guys. So bear with me here. Um, I want to say inked and tiled. Is that right? Yes, inked and tiled stamp set. And then the inked botanicals designer series paper. And then she did a flap. Uh, a decorative flap with the designer series paper for the envelope. How cool is that? So we're going to um, get our inspiration tonight from Melinda. Thank you so much, Linda, for the card. And let me bring in our paper. So I'm going to be um, giving you the dimensions as we um, cut and score this. And I'm hoping you'll help me kind of finish off the card. Um, I haven't made the card yet, so we're going to figure it out together. Um, so I, at the end of the, um, at the end of the video, I'm going to uh, put up a, <laughs> a blurb that has all of the dimensions. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Hang on. I found it. I found my paper trimmer. There it is. All right, so I have a five and a half by eight and a half inch piece of paper, as you might guess. And we're going to score this at, I have to find it. Hmm, that's not the one I want. Hang on, so sorry. I got to find my notes. Oh, yes, we're going to score this at two and three quarters. So right here. There we go. And then we're going to score it again at seven inches. So I'm going to pull out the arm. All right, there we go. And I'm going to score this right here at seven inches. <laughs> I found it. Take a sip, everyone. All right, so we've got it scored at, once again, that was two and three quarters and seven. And this is kind of a, at least in the U.S., a standard card base size. I think I can put that away. I'll, I'll keep it nearby if we need it again. So we're going to go ahead and fold on those um, score lines. Hang on. i to get my bone folder out of its little holder pocket here. And we'll just meet that up right there. All right, there we go. So you can see how it, it's kind of, it's a gatefold card, but it's offset. So kind of fun. And then we're going to grab our papers here. So, so many good things. Okay, I was kind of playing around with what we want to do. We're not going to use these pieces. Okay, these are the pieces we're going to use, though. All right, so we've got a layering piece. We've got our white piece. We're going to do some stamping on this. And then we've got uh, another layer piece and a designer series paper. So let me get, oh, you got your catalog today? Oh, good. So glad. Um, so the layer piece for this one is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. Oh, you know what, Jennifer? I had a, I had a boo-boo in my dimensions, didn't I? Dang it. All right, this is actually one and a quarter by five and a quarter. Sorry about that, Jennifer. And the designer series paper is one by five. I'm gonna just go in and edit our little screen thing I'm gonna put up in a minute. There we go. Did I put that in the right spot? I hope so. No, it did weird things. Hang on. I did do that. Okay, all right. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. I was almost out of room on there. Okay, so uh, one and a quarter by five and a quarter, and this is one by five. So we can go ahead and stick those on, I think. Oh, hey, 
there's my my adhesive. If you watched on Crafternoon today, my adhesive ran out <laughs> during Crafternoon, and I got uh, another one out from I got from downstairs. So it would be good shape for tonight. Let's put that on there. Now there are just random words on the back of this paper. This is again from the Masterfully Made Designer Series paper. I love this pretty fresh freesia pattern. And then that is going to go right on this little flap right here. Fresh freesia is the color of the cardstock and it matches that pretty, pretty pattern. Good question. All right, so we have that. We can go ahead and put this piece on too. This piece is two and a half by five and a quarter. Let's see if I got those dimensions right. Woohoo, I did. <laughs> All right. All right, there we go. And we're going to pop this on here. Right like so. All right, beautiful. Now we're going to do some stamping. So actually this piece I want to emboss. So we're going to do that, but let's do some stamping and then we can do, I like to do like my cutting and embossing at the same time. Are you like that too? Um, just kind of try to group that all together. So my favorite way to ink up this beautiful stamp, which is textured, is to use the blending brushes. So got a big one. I got a small one here. I'm actually going to take Highland Heather, which is a light purple. Let's get a little more, it's more of a bluish purple, I would say. And I'm going to do that all over my flower here. You can also just ink it up and stamp it. We can try that too in a minute to show you what that would look like. I want a fair amount of this on here. There we go. Loaded that baby up. Okay. And then I'm going to take the fresh freesia and I'm going to grab my mini, my little small blending brush here. And I'm just going to add some of the fresh freesia color and the inside of the flower. Now, sometimes when I'm doing this technique of doing the blending brushes right on the stamp, sometimes I need to uh, stamp it a couple times to get the look I'm going for. So grab a stamp and pierce. Oh, that one's full of holes. Hang on, let me grab a better stamp and pierce mat. Oh, here's one right here on my desk. Oh, found it. Ah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. And so it gives me a very, very soft look, which is exactly what I want, right? So I've got that little bit of freesia in the center and then the, um, the pale Highland Heather. So let's see what it would look like. I'm going to just, uh, let me just stamp it on a scrap paper a few times here to kind of clean it off. This is lazy cleaning friends. <laughs> and I'm going to ink it up with the, just the Highland Heather. So this is just straight up ink in the stamp. Now this is an ink pad that is, um, it's not super juicy. So I'm going to just stamp it right in the color. And that gives you a much bolder look, um, much darker look. Okay. Just so you know what the differences are. Let me see. Do I have another scrap of white? Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. I got white everywhere. Uh, so that's a different way you can do it. Now, if you use this stamp, this time I really am going to clean it off. Hang on. With a juicy ink pad, you're going to get a little bit of blotchiness. Um, so let's see what that looks like. Clean that up real quick here. So this is my, um, it's a fresh freesia ink pad that is pretty juicy, I think. So do you see how it's a little bit blotchy? A, a pad that wasn't as juicy, it's not, I don't get those little bubbles or whatever. And then over here, we have the sponged on look, right? So those are some options for you, okay? I personally love doing this. Um, you also can, of course, stamp off. So, you know, we got this kind of blotchy look here. Hang on. 
<laughs> found it found it friends take a sip We've got a scrap paper here i'm gonna stamp that off and then stamp it on my cardstock but it, because of the texturing on this stamp it's still a little the you know, a little blotchy to me so a stamp pad that's not super inky gives you a good look but my favorite look is this one right here and that's what we're using on this card tonight so i'm going to go ahead and close up my ink pads here what type of paper are you using when you turn the image it looks a little shimmery it's actually not um it might just be my lighting um this is just straight run-of-the-mill basic white <laughs> cardstock so all right so we've got our flower there mm, what other stamping and cutting did i want to do oh i know all right let me grab a little scrap of uh soft sea foam here and i'm going to grab the soft sea foam ink and let's take a look at the stamps that we're using didn't even show you this is the textured floral so this is the big flower this is the one that i like to do with the blending brushes i even do these small ones with the blending brushes the nice thing about using blender brushes blending brushes is you can add lots of different inks and get different looks so it's kind of fun and let's go to our leaves here so we're going to use the leaves that match this big flower and we're going to ink them up in soft sea foam and stamp them on soft sea foam. So you're gonna get that kind of little bit darker look when you're doing that tone on tone look. All right, did I do all my stamping friends? Oh, who knows? I think so. Let's let's do some die cutting here and debossing. So I'm gonna close these up and shove things over. Just clear, clear the deck. <laughs> Throwing stuff now. We're just gonna get all crazy here. All right, let's bring in our die cutting machine. Now, I don't normally die cut at this. I've got a desk across the room, so bear with me while I'll just shove things out of the way. So we're gonna start by doing some embossing, all right? So I've got my exposed, oh, sorry, bumping the camera. So sorry about that. I have a piece of, yep, that's, that's why you're getting the blotchy stamping. So try the blending brushes. I think you'll really like it. You could also use sponges, sponge daubers, and sponge the color on if you don't have blending brushes. Lots of options. So we're going to emboss this piece. This piece is two inches by five. Oh, you missed Crafty Noon, Janine? That's okay. We got a replay. I got you covered, and you're on my team, so you're going to get that whole tutorial for free. So no worries. We got you. I got your back. All right, so I am cranking this through. <laughs> I think I'm doing this in slow motion, you guys. Oh, goodness. All right. Let's see. Let's see how that came out. Sorry, I'm using ring like, so I apologize for that reflection there. Oh, love that exposed brick. It's so pretty. It's just so elegant. All right, so I'm going to put my sandwich back up. So I'm using the stamp and cut emboss machine. I've got platform one. We're going to add in the thin die adapter. That's number two because I'm going from embossing folders to die cutting. So I've got uh, plate number three here. And let's bring in our culprits that we're going to be die cutting here. So I'm going to grab my dies. And I'm going to lay my big flower right on here. And I want a post-it note. So this is a cut, a, die, a stamped image that I want to match up exactly with my stamp. So I'm going to just use the post-it note to hold it in place. But I got lots to cut, so I'm trying to make a lot of room on here. And then we're going to grab our soft sea foam piece here. And we're going to, okay, I have a question for you all. So we're going to add, oh, see, I might have just answered my question. Mm, can I fit that on there, you guys? All right, which, which leaves do, should we add to our project here? These both come in the textured floral dyes. I call this one the eucalyptus leaves because that's what it looks like. And this one is the regular leaves. So let me know in the comments if you want. Um, you know what? Eucalyptus is hard to spell, especially if you're watching on your phone. Let's say the one with, let, let's call this three and let's call this one because there are three stems on this one and one stem on this one. So let me know if we're doing three stems or one stem. And while you're voting on that, I'm going to go ahead and get the die for this one. Here it is. Popped on there. All 
And let's use another post-it note just to hold that in place because I've got, again, a, a die that exactly matches the stamped image. I think I've got two post-it notes on that one. No, no, maybe not. Okay. Got that in place. So I'm seeing, let's see. Looks like the threes are in the lead. So we're going to go with the three stem uh, eucalyptus type thingy here. <laughs> thingy is the official name. <clears throat> At least today it is. And then we're going to die cut this one. Now this technically, this is tiny leaves. My preference is to die cut this out of white. And then it kind of reminds me of baby's breath. Like you put baby's breath in a arrangement. So, all right, we've got the flower. We've got the leaves. We've got that. I think that's it, friends. I think we got all the things. Let's send it through once again. <laughs> I can barely turn the handle because I've got so much stuff on my desk. This is how I roll. This is how I roll. All right. There we go. Let's pull this aside. Oh, my goodness. There, you got to see my toes. <sighs> oh, my gosh, you guys. I just had my cord tangled up in the camera cord and the handle of the die cutting machine and I think I need a nap. All right, here we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, look how pretty. You guys, you, good choice. You guys made a good choice. All right, I think either would have been a good choice, right? I mean, they both would look good. And then we're not using this Highland Heather flower. We're using the one we did with the sponging. So very pale, very light. It's exactly what I'm after. Um, you also could do a combo where you ink it up and then use this blending brush to kind of um, soften the ink. Lots of options. And then we have what could be leaves, but today it's going to be baby's breath. It's a very delicate dye. So just gently wiggle it out of the paper. There we go. And then we have our leaves. Hurrah. All right, let's put our card together and see if we have everything <laughs> we need. So let's bring the card back in and we're going to put our embossed piece right here. Now I like to add the adhesive when I'm putting an embossed piece on. I like to add it to the piece it goes to just because um, sometimes it can rip when you have paper that's been embossed. So pop that into place right there all right probably can't see that but very pretty oh we got stuff squirting in on the sides oh my goodness all right let's see if we got everything die cut so here's the leaves i'm gonna grab some multi-purpose liquid glue here oh guys i don't have a piece of paper under me i'm like it's like walking on a tightrope without a net <laughs> i live dangerously tonight though just going for it all right, so I'm just putting little dabs of glue on the top portion of this. I'm going to slap a dimensional on the lower portion, so I'm not worried about that too much. I'm going to pop that right here. This is a long panel, so I want to build my bouquet, kind of give it some, some extra length, and that's what these leaves and die cuts will do. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same with this. Again, just on the upper portion. Just putting on some little dots. Dot is a lot, lake is a mistake, thin line is just fine, but these are too tiny for thin lines. So I'm just going to do little dots of my liquid glue. And then that is going to go right here, just kind of overlapping the leaves. All right. And then we've got our flower and our other leaves that are going to go on top. So I'm going to put some dimensionals down here. All right. Let's slap some dimensionals on. Put one here to kind of hold that other stem down. And I think what I'm going to do here is, let's see. Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to put a couple dimensionals. Oh, I got glue on my desk. See, I should have put a paper down. That's what I get for being.
<laughs> All right, so let's put a couple dimensionals on the back of the leaves near the bottom and stick those on. And then our flower, I might need one more dimensional. Boy, I'm I'm loading them up with dimensionals tonight, right? Here we go. I've got to, <laughs> and a couple hundred more dimensional papers to add to my collection, right? And there we have our flower. So pretty. So pretty. All right. And then um, we can do an inside greeting, but I think I'm going to add some, you know where I'm going here, right? <gasps> some gems. All right. These are the Tinsel Gems 3-pack. And let me grab, hmm. Oh, found it. Ha <laughs> ha, I was hiding out under some stamps. Uh, this is the um, take your pick tool without the die brush attachment. So let's grab a couple of these gems. These have fresh freesia, uh, misty moonlight, and I think this is Lost Lagoon here. All right. And one more big one right here. All right so pretty right so so pretty now i think if you recall uh, linda on her version she put designer series paper on the envelope flap and i think we should too right i don't know if i've ever done that you guys how sad is that so i'm going to take my adhesive and i'm going to make my flap sticky on the back and I have a piece of designer series paper here. This is two and a quarter by, make sure the words right set up, two and a quarter by six. And I'm just gonna line it up with that full, oh, that wasn't quite lined up. There we go, maybe, eh, close enough. <laughs> I got a little gap here, that's okay. And now I'm just gonna trim off where it sticks out. So easy to do and it's something that I, I forget about and it's just a great way to coordinate your envelope with your project. So thank you Linda Olson for that inspiration on that uh, card that you gifted me with the designer series paper flap and it's pretty easy cutting because I'm just following the, the actual flap right. And there we have a custom envelope to match our card. And here is our card. So pretty. And then on the inside, I do love about this. One thing I love about this stamp set is the birthday blooms for you. It's just, I get tired sometimes of the same old birthday greetings. So I do like that this one has um, something a little bit different. And um, this make, would make a beautiful birthday card, but I'm actually gonna leave the sentiment out for now because this would also make a beautiful wedding card, a thinking of you card, uh, really so many different um, events, right? Um, and I think, let me know if in the comments if you think this would be one that we should do a project sheet on in the upcoming project sheet email. I did get a request um, to do a project sheet for this cute little cutie. Um, that we made on a previous uh, video with um, the new Tricks and Treats stamp set and the glow in the dark paper for the boo. So um, let me know if you want. <laughs> They're a little different, aren't they? <laughs> kind of two different realms here. Uh, but let me know. Oh, it would make a beautiful sympathy card. Ah, that's a good point, Paula. Really, really pretty. All right, I'm going to flip the camera. Oh, sure you are. Here we go. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight, friends. So good to see you here. I hope you enjoy your Saturday. Have a lovely evening. And again, stay tuned. Um, the If you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe. Go to SueStampfield.com. You can subscribe for the blog. That's where the new crafting information will be going up by the end of the day tomorrow. And you can also subscribe for free project sheets if you would like a little more inspiration in your inbox. Thank each, I want to thank each and every one of you for making and sending handmade cards. Together we're making the world a kinder place, so thanks for all you do. Take care and have a great evening. Bye-bye.